TGS presents Forza Motorsport 7 Achievement, Superhuman 20 Gamer Score, Win a Race with Unbeatable Drive Atar Difficulty 6.07% Rare. We are in free play and uh, we're going to go ahead and try to unlock the achievement. I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm using the Dodge Durango. Why? Because this car would be good for ramming. Could have used the ram. Would have fit it a little bit better, but we're going to use the new Dodge. I wanted to drive this. Uh, these do not matter, but you do want to go down to drive with hard difficulty, make sure it's set to unbeatable. And for race setup, this is what I did. I went to Prague, because it's one of my favorite tracks. I think it's my number one favorite track, if I have to really think about it, but, uh, one lap. One max drive guitar, so there's only one unbeatable drive guitar, not 23 of them. Circuit race, daytime, any division. And we're going to hop in, and what we're going to do is if we're having difficulty trying to pass, we're just going to crash into him and uh, keep rewind on so that if you know something bad happens, you can always rewind and then crash into him again. That's honestly one of the best ways to just get it straightforward and not waste too much time on it. Just uh, You got to wait for a good corner and then come in hot, smack the living crap out of him. So let's see if this works. Seriously, look at the car they put against me. This is gonna be some uh, some crazy movie scene right here. Nope, nope. This is where the rewind's coming into play. Yep. Rewind. He he had cut that turn. He braked real hard back there. I was waiting for him to go into the turn a little bit better. That did not work to, to plan at all. What I have to do is get him completely spun around here. This is going to take a few attempts. We have to basically, like right there, it's perfect, but I was trying to push him around a little bit more. Let's try that. Nope. <laughs> right into the tire uh, wall. <laughs> Peace out. And that's how you take the lead, then you just gotta hold it. This is gonna be difficult with this dude. We're just gonna have to block him off. Once you're in the lead, you can always cut them off, and they usually will stop if you get in their way while they're trying to pass. So, I've done races where I've had the slowest car possible, and the only reason I won is because I blocked people from passing. It happens, sometimes you make a bad decision when doing a ton of different races in a day. You know, I picked a car over looks and brand, over actual handling and stuff, and it didn't go well. Because it wasn't as fast as the others. I saw him going on the inside, but uh, yeah, I'm just gotta stay focused here. Plus, I, I kind of want to make him crash again, so he's not up my butt. There was a dude driving like this behind me the other day. I was at like a red light. We got the green. 
was in the left lane, this guy is like completely up my butt, so I go to get over in the right lane. He decides to get over in the right, right, right lane all aggressively, right up my butt. So, being me, I floored the living crap out of my car in real life, which is a V6 supercharged engine with like 450 horsepower, so I go roaring away. He's like all the way back in my rear view, and then there's the popo lights going on in the background. I saw him pass before, and uh, he comes charging up through all these cars, gets behind the dude who was driving all wild and pulls him over. It was like the most beautiful thing that ever happened. Even though I also went in the store in visible range from where uh, the guy got pulled over, they left me alone, so that was my win that day. Just like I won now. And that is how you beat the unbeatable driver. Hit him and then prevent him from passing. And we should get the achieve. There it is. Superhuman, 20 gamer score. Want to race with unbeatable drive guitar difficulty? Would really appreciate if you like and subscribe.